Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. And today we are going to solve a problem from Lead Code whose name is Promise Time Limit. And the problem statement is saying that given an asynchronous function f in and a time t in milliseconds, and return a new time limit x time limit version of the input function. And what a time limit function is? A time limit function is a identical to the original unless it takes longer than t milliseconds to fulfill. And in case it will reject time limit exceeded. Note it should not reject with a string. It should uh, it should reject with a string, not an error. So we will just throw an an a string which will say time limit exceeded rather than throwing a error. So let's first understand what the example is saying. So function is an asynchronous function which is returning a new promise and which is resolved after hundred milliseconds. Okay, and it is returning n into n and we have inputted 5 here and the t is 50 seconds and this function is resolving after 100 milliseconds so it is 15 milliseconds my mistake t is 50 milliseconds and this function is resolving after 100 milliseconds so this is taking longer than t milliseconds so this should be rejected with time limit exceeded message here and for the second input uh, the input is Function which is returning a promise which is resolved after hundred milliseconds and returning n into n, and we have inputted five, which is passed as parameter to n, and t is here one fifty millisecond, and this promise is resolved in hundred milliseconds. So yeah, this should be resolved and returning n into n, which will give twenty five. So it is resolved with value twenty five after hundred milliseconds. So After seeing these two examples, you should be clear that when promise is resolved before t milliseconds, then it should be resolved. Otherwise, it should be rejected with time limit exceeded message, and we don't need to throw new error. So, if you have not seen promise yet, please I suggest you to watch my video with uh, sleep lead code problem. In that video, I explained what a promise is and how to deal with them. And also set time of function. So now we can start our code part here. So inside this return function, we can create a function and calling for our callback function which we got here and passing it arguments using a spread operator and again creating a new promise. Which we will resolve uh, reject after t milliseconds. Let's say from p r equal to new promise and creating it with promise constructor and then passing an arrow function whose parameter will be resolve and reject. And if you are figuring why I am not writing whole resolve and reject, it should be anything. Name should be anything, but the first value is always resolve and second is always reject. So yeah, and inside this promise, I am rejecting it after t milliseconds. So set time out, and let's say t milliseconds, and now another arrow function, and it will. Reject with message time limit exceeded. So let's copy and paste time limit exceeded and now returning promise dot race and what the race is? Race is just an method inside promise and it take Argument as iterable object and inside this iterable, let's say uh, pass it if and our created promise and th uh, this race me uh, race race method takes iterable object and inside this we have two values p and uh, f and p r. This is just a function we created here f variable and run, uh, assign this function and this function is nothing. It returned a promise, so this is just a promise. This is another promise we created here, and this promise is fulfilled 
after some milliseconds and this pr is rejected after t milliseconds and the race will run both these promises and which promise will be resolved or rejected first let's say fulfilled first it will return that promise so let's run this yeah it got accepted and now we can submit our solution so it got accepted so basically this race is doing nothing it's running both the promises separately first one is resolved after some milliseconds we don't know it is passed at function fn here parameter and second is rejecting after t milliseconds so which one is faster this uh, race will return that so yeah that's all for this and if you found this video helpful please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed this channel yet this will motivate me to make some more content and yeah that's all see you in next video